Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Brothers and sisters and dear friends Hope you guys are doing well uh, I don't know if you guys know But a couple of days ago My car got hacked into um, They used some device And opened my doors And opened my boot And took my laptop Yeah, They didn't touch the camera They didn't touch my iPad on the side So I was thinking to myself This seemed a bit weird You know So I did a post about it Just to raise people Like you know There's something going on um, And you know um, Alhamdulillah I learned big lessons from that Alhamdulillah wallahi Allah does things for reason you know alhamdulillah it was a big reminder for me yeah this is a nice car mashallah mercedes-benz 220 you know mashallah red leather seats panoramic roof mashallah extra sunlight you know so i did this i posted this is what happened and i also said that now my laptop's gone i need to get a new one yeah and i need some kind of if brothers can contribute whatever it is yeah i've got some money if they can add on to that contribute so i can get a mac because that's the one i use specifically to edit videos you know that's what happened but guess what guess what this is in Ramadan, in Ramadan, before you have even broken your fast. In Ramadan, some brothers and some sisters, some, I'm going to say some, yeah, they couldn't help it. They couldn't assume the best. It was just like, nah. One excuse, the Salaf would give seven excuses, the Sahaba. One excuse, uh, I can't do it. Oh, it's not coming out. Yeah, sorry. We couldn't do one excuse. And you know what happened? Tommy Robinson's followers, I expect it from them. They came to my thing, you know, he's lying. He got his friend to steal it. I mean, take it out so he guys can get you to buy it. He's a scam artist, he's that, all that. All expected. They don't, it doesn't, it doesn't phase me. I laugh at it. It doesn't phase me, yeah? But what upsets me is this, yeah? Is that I don't need nobody's thank you for what I'm doing, for the da work, whatever it is. Well, I don't need nobody's thank you, this, that, don't praise me, I'm, I don't care. But at least, at least, give the right of your brother. Have some decency give the right of your brother assume the best in me at least the least of the least of the least you can say we assume the best and may allah bless a lot of people did and they did more than that and a lot of people did worse than that how you're driving a mercedes benz what how dare you have some shame look at you driving this this that you can um buy yourself a laptop yourself how dare you come and ask a shame on you this that all kind of man this is going along yeah okay and this is just a little minority by the way Abdullah, the whole one's not like this yeah wallahi the shame is on you shame on you you know why because this car wallahi by allah i'm fasting this car doesn't belong to me this is not my car this is not my car this is not my car I drive it and I'm returning it back in October. This is not my car. It does not belong to me. Now, how embarrassing is that for you? How shameful it is for you that you couldn't assume the best. The Salaf would say, if we saw our brother drenched in alcohol, we'll say somebody poured it over his head. Look at the Salaf, the Sahaba. Look at it. Read Quran chapter 49 verse 12. Allah says, indeed, negative assumptions is a sin. How dare you, man? Shame on you. I've been doing dawah for the for the past four and, a, four and a half, five years. I get death threats. I've went through madness. This, I don't need your sympathy. Well, lie, like, keep your sympathy to yourself. I don't need your sympathy. At least don't attack and don't assume and slander me. Yeah, I've been doing that. I don't earn money. I don't do this for the money. I don't earn money from this. Yeah, okay. And alhamdulillah, there's people who have always helped me and given me the resources. May Allah bless them. Yeah, and this is I don't make money from this. And how dare you, because you just look, this is our problem. We look at the parent. Ibn Taymiyyah said some people are like flies. They, they always land on bad places. Yeah? They land on bad places because they never can see the good in people. They can never assume the best in people. And this is the sad reality. And this is what's happened to, uh, today, uh, uh, that day, when they saw it. Attacking this, that shame on you. Tommy Robinson's followers, you expect it from them. Yeah? Shame on you for your behavior. Wallahi, all you had to do was... One good excuse. You know what? Brother Ali, if he didn't need it, he would not ask for it. We know the brother. From what we can see, we know. Do you know me to be a dodgy person? Have you seen me like scamming people, stealing their money, doing this, that, that? No. So from what you know, you're like, okay, we know good from the brother, yeah? We might disagree with some stuff he does, but he's not the type. All you had to do was that one good assumption and that was too much. You know what that shows? The disease in the heart. Because this shows that you have something against me or you genuine, genuinely have a disease in the heart that when you get the opportunity, you jump out. Yeah, see this opportunity. What? You're driving a Mercedes. How do you come and ask this and that? Do you get what I'm trying to say? Wallahi, brothers and sisters, this is Ramadan. This is the time where you should work on yourself. This is the time where you should purify the heart. Every vessel sweats what's in it. And you had the disease in the heart, that hatred in yourself. And that's what your vessel sweat. Yeah? I forgive you. Well, I figure, may Allah 
I forgive you. Not only that, two months ago, I was made unemployed. Two and a half, three months ago. I was not working. I don't even have... I had, I had the means. I don't want to get into detail. Yeah, alhamdulillah, Allah is my provider. And recently, alhamdulillah, I got into a specific job. Uh, a, specific, a specific job. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Yeah? All praise belong to Allah. Wallah, I don't need no one. I don't like begging nobody. I work. I don't beg people, oh, give me this, this, that, oh, for my holidays. I don't need that. Alhamdulillah, all praise belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah? So, just letting you guys know uh, that this is a reminder. Fix and purify your heart. Yeah? Fix and prove it. Assume the best in your brothers. Well, like the basic right your brother and sister has is that. And lastly, want to finish on a good note. There was a lot of brothers, may Allah, brothers and sisters um, that may Allah bless them. Forget contributing. They said, brother, here it is. Here's the money. Go and buy a brand new laptop. We want to stack the rewards. Wallahi, may Allah bless. Not because of them doing it. Not because of them contributing towards it. Forget contributing. They bought outright these group brothers and sisters, I'm going to say, yeah. May Allah bless them The fact that you assume the best When you saw the car You didn't say Oh look at Ali You said nah We not The brother He needs it If he says he needs it That means there's a reason he needs it Wallahi may Allah bless them My laptop's on the way And inshallah This is what I use to editing Recording Defending the kalam of Allah And every video that I edit Everything that I do These brothers and sisters May Allah bless them Are going to be rewarded for that and in a nutshell, brothers and sisters, I forgive those who did this. May Allah rectify your affairs. May Allah give you the ability to assume the best in your brothers and sisters, inshallah. And don't forget to join the Dao movement because we're bringing some new stuff. New stuff coming very soon. On a professional level, we're going to defend the Kalam of Allah. There's a link below. May Allah bless you guys. Click that link and donate wherever you can. May Allah grant you Jannah. You're going to see the results very soon. Now I've got to go, brothers and sisters. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I've got to admit, this is a nice card though.